Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Summer Game Fest Week 5. We've got two things to talk about today. Two things. Destiny 2 and... For a very, pe- for a very brief Very brief. I even, I, he forgot to watch it, <laughs> yep. so I'm just going to talk about it. We don't play Destiny, so it won't take no. long. So we'll get through that. But then we'll talk about the PS5 announcement, which was huge. Lots of stuff to talk about. That's, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. So, okay, let's let's get through the... Let's talk okay, about Destiny 2. Let's talk 2. about Destiny Destiny. Hey, if you like Destiny, I'm glad. I played the first Destiny. And I, di- it was, I didn't. It was fun. Okay, great. What what happened? What happened That's to Destiny it. Two? No, Destiny Two. Obviously, Destiny Two has been happening for a long time. Like it's a essentially a game as a service now. Um, basically, I don't care. I haven't played it. I don't know anything about the story, so I'm not going to tell you. Oh, this story looks awesome because I don't know. Right. Whatever. I'll tell you uh, that they have basically they. They pl- like showed like the main kind of concept, not a lot of story details, it seemed, but of the next three years. Oh, wow. Like three expansions, basically. And I like that. I always like yeah. in the, you know, in storytelling when you have long term narrative cohesion, MCU does it pretty well. Yeah. Things like that where it's like we have a plan, we're sticking to it. And I think that's a good thing for them to do. Hey, we're starting something this November or whatever. And, or September, whenever the first one comes out, then next year this happens, and then it will all come to a close at this point. Like I like when there's a plan, in uh in you know in storytelling. So that was cool. Um, they also m- mentioned uh, th- so it was basically two guys talking about this. I forget who they were. I forget their titles. But one of them talked about basically was like, hey, you know how there's like some FOMO stuff in the game now, fear of missing out, right? Uh sorry we're gonna take that out (laughs) which was really (laughs) nice to hear because uh i mean i understand like that can Fortnite does it really well but that's how does it does a bad thing really well but that's how you can get people coming back but it really is better when your game when people come back to your game because Because they like the story or they like the gameplay or they like the community or all three hopefully um you trying to like psychologically trick you into playing the game it's just, ugh, it's a little creepy. And a it lot is. of games do it. I get it. But it's, yeah. So it's a good thing that they're trying to work on that. This was a big thing. They okay. mentioned that buying it, if you have it on PS4, essentially smart delivery will also be a thing for you on PS5. Oh, nice. So that might be a small, like, hey, hint that there is going to be backwards compatibility on the PS5. Or it might just be, hey, It'll if you you know you'll get the digital version for right, this. Right. Either way, that's good. At I mean, when you're s- releasing something so close to a system shift, like a new a new generation, you kind of have to. Right. Otherwise, people would just be like, "Well, why would I buy it?" Yeah. <laughs> like they'll the- just wait. Yeah. And so this is like a okay, that was really cool. So I'm hoping. I mean, we'll talk about it, but PS5 should really have backwards compatibility. That fingers be great. crossed for real. Uh, doesn't should should might be the wrong word because. It doesn't have to. No, it no, no. Still be a good Again, thing. Anyway, it would be very cool. Uh, they talked about. Ooh, this is a cool thing too. Intergenerational crossplay for each of the systems. Oh, that's very. So cool. PS5 can so play. So you're like an octogenarian. <laughs> yes, if you, you are an play old, with somebody who's like can, 30 years old. Play, boomers and Zoomers can just yeah. come together here in Destiny. In Destiny Two, because you know that's what both Boomers and Zoomers play a lot. That's what they love. Destiny they two. love. They love it both. It's crazy. <laughs> no, if you have it on PS5, you can still play against or with people on ps4 and same thing with xbox series x and the xbox one and they said maybe hopefully intergener like inter console play but right now no like so it's it's a thing grandpa will you pwn nudes (laughs) will you pwn nude (laughs) why sure son (laughs) uh last big thing oh this is a cool thing the destiny content vault essentially they basically said hey there's a lot of stuff in destiny 2 as in like content packs and the file size is massive. So we're going to basically like if you just install Destiny 2 at the, this is how I interpret it uh, if I remember correctly. At this point if you down you know install it when this new thing comes out, you won't get all of Destiny 2. You will still have access to older stuff though. So basically they don't make you install the entire, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. if it's 200 gigs it's 100 gigs instead, and if you want to play super old stuff from when the game first dropped, you can. So, oh, like, cool. I like that. I thought that that was, like, nice because, yeah. well, especially coming up, like, we're going to have, I mean, we have limited 
drive size already and that's not going to be uh that's not going to go away so i like that it just to me that said hey we're looking at actual like game like quality of life issues and we're recognizing these things they also mentioned some really small things like hey we heard a lot of you don't like the bright white on the like title screen because if it's 2 a.m. in your dark apartment, that <laughs> blinds you. So we're going to switch that back to a darker one. And to me, that's like a big thing. Like yeah. they're they're listening and hearing it's what exactly, people like. It just shows that they're listening. Yeah. yeah and so uh, awesome. I thought that was great. Other than that, it looked like Destiny does people with guns shooting things. Space guns. They're, Which it's cool. Destiny's Whatever. Cool, I yeah. I don't play it. I don't. I'm not bragging. Da- trying to brag, bring it down or anything, but it's fine. I hope you play and enjoy Destiny. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a decently made game. You have a interview. Uh, that's for my daughter. Don't worry. It's oh, fine. Okay. Oh. Oh no. You messed it up. Okay. Well. Oh, yeah. No, so, oh no. Oh uh, no. What have you oh, done? Oh no. Oh no. You're ruining it all. Okay. Anyway, mm. Destiny. Are we good? We'll be back. Hang on just a second. Oh, okay. Welcome okay. back to Destiny 2. <laughs> Long story short, uh, my wife had a meeting and for whatever. It was on our joint calendar. Right. It just tried to pop up on my computer. And you said, no, I'm talking about Destiny 2. And Get it, out of here. It closed the meeting for everybody. Yep. All right. Well, that's all I got for Destiny 2. It looked fine. Yeah. But I pro- it wasn't. there was nothing in there, I guess I'll say, that said you should play this game. Other, unless you really, really enjoy it already. And unless you're yeah. into it already. But for me, as somebody who doesn't play, there wasn't like a, oh, that sounds amazing. I'll play it now. Right, right, right. All right. Well, that's Destiny 2. Let's get into the massive Sony P- PlayStation 5 announcement. This thing was like an hour and 10 minutes long. We had, they had one of like our 1,000 million games. One of our patrons was like, it wasn't long enough. Oh, man. I wish you could have seen more. I was like, no, man, I thought it was You know what that means? Plenty. It means that the game they specifically wanted to see wasn't in it. Yeah. That's maybe. all it is. That Because I felt that too. But then I was like, and then I was like, oh, wait, there was no God of War too. Yeah. And so it didn't feel long enough because I wanted it to be just long enough more to get that next trailer that I really wanted to see. So, or, you know, obviously you can think it was not long enough. That's fine too. But I'll, But that's, to me, it felt like a... You just didn't get to see what you wanted. There was a lot. <laughs> I am surprised that there wasn't a Final Fantasy VII Remake 2 logo. Nothing else. Just a logo. <laughs> no, I think or people, some music. I think they saw the reactions to that with like Sky or, or Elder Scrolls Scroll 6, 6, Metroid 4, <laughs> yes. things like that. So, yeah, let's hope that's a that's not a thing the anymore. A thing of the past. All no. right, so let's let's just get into this. Um this was the Official PlayStation, the official PlayStation 5, the first 5, time we've yeah. really heard we've anything. We've been talking a lot about how silent they've been and how that has to mean that either they uh, are sitting pretty They've either or got a really slam worried. dunk or their the ball is like, it's popped <laughs> and they can't even yeah. play. Like, And I think it's the former over the latter. It seems as though Man. they were just like, <laughs> yeah, we're good. <laughs> now, of course, there's going to be more from Microsoft. From both, from everybody, but, yeah. And also... It's an entertainment system. No no need to dedicate your life's value to it. But I do. And so uh, <laughs> anyway. But if you disagree with us. Let's jump in. There were like lots of games. So let's just go yeah. through them. Yep. And, and we'll, we'll try and go pretty quick here. Yeah. Right off the bat was G- GTA 5 stuff and some GTA Online stuff. To me, this was a weird opening. I literally wrote weird start. Yeah. <laughs> like cool. <laughs> because they said, hey, we're going to have all kinds of GTA stuff. Um, if you are a PS, uh, a PS4, PS plus, a pl- plus owner right now of GTA five for the PS4, you will get a million dollars of GTA cash every a, a month. month until it comes out until right? the PS5. And also comes out. when you PS5, every PS5 P- and if you subscribe to PS plus, you will get GTA online for free for free. Right. Which cool to me this is equivalent of todd howard coming out and be like hey we got ps5 skyrim you're like cool <laughs> I d- whatever it's the same thing like it's the game to me this is a, a very big like hey transition from four to five please sure like, i mean don't swap over transition from four GTA to five. five online is massive yes it it's is a big massive deal. and they have continued to put out content for it so i don't feel like it's one that's like not earned the ability to keep keep going. Right. So I appreciate right. that. Yeah. But other, I mean, I don't play it. So cool. 
So yeah, for us the the, the kick off the GTA stuff. Um, if you play GTA, I'm guessing this was actually super cool. Yeah, uh, really excited for that stuff, especially getting it online free with the PS5. Sure, but if you're not a fan of GTA, this was kind of a weird start. To very, me, the very next niche. one should have been the first. They yes. should have switched the first two. Absolutely. Because the next one was Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Holy crap. I'm so excited for it. So this began just with like... I'm going to fanboy out for some of these games. Just get over it. <laughs> some voiceover and showing like an arm that looked like it was being damaged. And then as it slowly creeps up, you can see the web logo coming. Mm -hmm. And then finally, it's Miles Morales' face. Yep. And... I've seen that it's mostly going to be a very similar standalone game. Though. Yeah, uh, there's been like alternate rumors. It's a very much a standalone game. I think there's been like it was also mentioned that it's not officially mentioned by Insomniac. It is a standalone. You don't have to play the others or own right, the others. Right. But also, I think they were like it's not a as a game as big. Yeah. So I, I think essentially they're kind of covering their bases right now and saying, "Hey, this is not going to be Spider-Man Two. That's right. not what this right. is. This is Spider-Man Miles Morales. Right. This is, you know, an expansion pack, but also more than expansion But you can pack. play it on... Like, I mean, that's how the uh, uh, Witcher 3 expansion packs were. You did yeah, not Wild have Hunt. to play the original. Yeah. Uh, you did not play the Wild Hunt to play Hearts of Stone or Blood and Wine. So, anyway. Uh, so, it looked great. I mean, it looked like Spider -Man, the Spider-Man games. I'm excited for playing as Miles Morales because he has different powers than Peter Parker. So it might give us some new combat. Yeah, or at least I hope he they... He can turn invisible. I hope they highlight his yeah, different powers. You gotta. You know, yeah. You gotta do something different with it to make it worth it. To me, that also means, like, I really hope there's a new environment. If it's just Manhattan again, I'll be a little disappointed because I, we've been there. So give us... Uh, the Outer Boroughs is my my hope. Right, you've said that a lot. Yeah, yeah I've said that a lot. Um, Outer Boroughs, Bronx, Queens, Long Island, maybe... But give it a different flavor kind of thing. Cherry. I don't know. Uh, yeah, strawberry maybe. Uh, but yeah, it looked great, and I was excited to see that. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it does look really, really cool, though. Uh, so I put, holy crap, Spider-Man was my first thing. Uh -huh. Right after that, Gran Turismo 7. Yeah. If you guys, I, I know this is a really niche thing, but for those people who are racing sim people, Gran Turismo is like that and Forza. Are like that and Forza it. are the the two of the realistic, yeah, sim sim games. I used to play. I played three and four on the PlayStation Two. Really loved them. Haven't played them since. Yeah. What stood out to me was, hey, they were. I think this one they were trying to demonstrate. You want gameplay? Well, here's nothing. Here's seven <laughs> minutes or three minutes or whatever of just driving. This is something that the and. I think this this week of time they utilized for a lot of different things from when they postponed it from last week to mm -hmm. this week. Yeah. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit here. But uh, this is one of those things that I think they looked at Microsoft's presentation and said very clearly, dang, everybody is complaining that there's no gameplay yep. in that. Oh, yeah. Let's make this happen. We need to feature gameplay and all this stuff. And they did. And the, There wasn't there wasn't gameplay the for Spider-Man, I'll say. No. No. I mean, there was like little screenshots of him swinging and things like sure, that. Sure, that's true. And also, not it's like an expansion to a game. So we already know what the gameplay is going right, to be. Right, right. For the most part, there might be some additions. But anyway, yeah, Gran Turismo is literally just sitting in a car and driving, which it, in a sim, that's what the game yeah. is. So and it looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah, sounded great. They always do, but it right. looks fantastic. 100%. It really, really does. The big one, and hitting up with these three, again, so weird to me that they started with GTA V. Excluding that, these first three, them leveraging their their uh, first-party IP here, Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I played literally every Ratchet and Clank now that we played all for one together. Yeah. Uh, but if you guys want to check out another a friend of ours, Robo Sensei, Actually, he's Bakugan now on YouTube. Yeah, that's true. Um, he's, he's the... Bakumentary. Uh, Bakumentary. Bakumentary on YouTube, but Robo-sensei, uh, him and his dad, we, we uh, played, Empire... We played Ratchet and Clank all for one on our channel. Yeah. As well as my play... my The very first game that I played through on my own for our channel was the Ratchet and Clank remake. That's still there? For the PS4. I might have taken it off, but I finished it, so I think yeah, it should still yeah. be. I don't know. Either way. Um, yeah. But it anyway... Looks just butter smooth it looks yeah. super cool to me it just looked like another ratchet and clank game and that's what i want like it, right yeah, absolutely and it, but it looks really really good oh sure yeah uh like a, what's the the dimensional no it's called ratchet say, and multiverse clank. of madness it's called ratchet thing. and clank rift apart rift apart right. that's a little it bit is. of a pun there like they like they usually do man 
what they okay afterward it had like some people talking about it like yeah. the new generation we can do these things and one of them was like one of the things something like ray tracing on on clank and i was like <laughs> Is that a selling point? I don't. First of all, I don't oh, care. Oh man, I was never into Ratchet and Clank before, but you got man. Me the now. reflection on that robot was so weak. That game looked like trash, like garbage. No, I don't care. Like I'm just, I'm excited for a new Ratchet and Clank. Give me that fun, ridiculous gameplay with cool weapons. That's and this has a topiary, topiary gun or whatever that turned enemies into plants. <laughs> that was great. Um, yeah, man, a lot of gameplay for this as well. It's probably saw yeah. five minutes of gameplay. Yeah, in there. I'm I'm hoping for. Uh, to me, I was kind of watching this, and I was like, "Wow, they should actually kind of change the combat to more of a push forward style. Like, do enemies are the ones that give you ammo instead of finding it in boxes around the environment? I think that would kind of be a help, like a hmm. kind of an interesting evolution for the series. But either way, I'm yeah. really excited for it that. It looks really good, and it I did. appreciate that they actually showed the HUD in the gameplay. Because a lot of times they show the gameplay, but not the HUD, and so it's not the full like, what is this gonna look like to play? Mm -hmm. They showed it in this, and I was very, I was, I like to see that kind of thing. After this, they had something that was intriguing. Yeah, is what I'll they say. showed very little of it, and also I don't think there's very much to it yet. Right, <laughs> uh, Project Athela was that what it was? Athia, Athia, I A Athia. Athia, Project Athia. It's a Square Enix game. Um, in this one they made a point to say it's a PS5 exclusive. Uh, so assuming it's another one at launch, maybe, I don't know. They didn't really say what's going to be at launch or not, but this is, yeah, it looked like a cool concept. I actually went on the website. Project Athia is its, um, working title. It's yeah, not actually I, it's I figured, yeah. like, like project Octopath, but that just became Octopath, Octopath Traveler, Traveler. So, <laughs> so maybe this will be Athia Traveler. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looked Great. It looked like fine. a cool adventure game. Great. Yeah. It looked fine. There wasn't much for it, but I don't it was know definitely what it enough is. to be intriguing. Sure. Yeah. 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 After this, Stray. <laughs> this was Stray, Blue 12 Studio. So here, okay. They, they, they bamboozled me it, on this they one. They really did. Yeah. You're seeing it right here, but they began with this like... Uh, like following this cat around and they're showing this city and they're showing I, no they began with just some robots and like a, like a oh, robot ro in an yeah, alleyway yeah. but they're also just cats walking around things there's like a that. cat yeah <laughs> and then i'm waiting for like where's this cat gonna take me what's gonna happen where the where where this cat yeah goes? it's just the vehicle it pan out too yeah nope nope it it's the cat. cat and then it stops and it says stray and yeah. it's an adorable kitty apparently game apparently we're playing as a cat <laughs> I, in this I have... game called stray an adorable kitty game? Goodbye, Microsoft. <laughs> hey, oh, system seller. Oh, done. Oh, man. Yeah, so fine. It looked, it's a cat game, I guess. No, okay. So to me, this was really interesting because, I mean, there are like, there's like, um, what's the one that you made me watch you play? Oh, Cat Lateral Damage. Cat one of the Lateral best games damage. of the, of the yes. last decade. Uh, we we want this cat games, but this one actually looks like it has kind of a serious tone. Oh to it. yeah yeah yeah. It's in a very unique world. It's not a cat game, right? It very much looks like uh, there wasn't a single human in, in this. There were robots. That we could see. Yeah, it was all robots. They had some sort of storytelling on the walls of like graffiti that said like "Rest in peace, humans." Right. Which right. I don't know why anybody's writing that, but it's still telling you something. Rest in peace, humans, and stuff like that. So something happened. Now there are cats still. Yeah, and so to me, the fact that we're taking the the player is the cat really makes me curious as to what direction this game is going to take. Yeah. Uh, is the cat going to be like not anthropomorphic, but uh, where it can talk. If the cat will like, talk, that'll change the, the tone entirely. But at the same time, if it doesn't talk, it'd be really interesting. Just kind of be like the cat is the vehicle with which we're experiencing this game. To me that I feel like stray based on like its vibe, it felt like something that's going to be like a five hour storytelling kind of game. Not necessarily wandering or a walking simulator, but more like a, light puzzle game or something i don't know just trying like environmental storytelling game is what i'm guessing from that but who knows that was entirely a theory so yeah 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 let's I move I think on it looks unique though like something i'm definitely again yeah it was in. it was oh i wrote here it's clearly demonstrating this setting i think yeah. was the main thing like Very there are robots so, yes. there are no humans there's a cat uh next one was returnal returnal by housemark housemark studios or housemark i don't know if it's studios or not but uh this looked cool it did look very very cool yeah it was like a um a sci-fi shooter thriller sci yeah sci-fi uh, horror maybe with like a, a kind of a hardcore astronaut woman lead that uh very to me it was kind of like uh 
alien was getting aliens. A, I was getting or, a Lovecraftian. Yeah, a little bit. There was sci- definitely sci-fi. that. But there was also like this strong female lead is yeah, also like really from... struggling. Yeah. Really struggling Especially with her experiences aliens, yes. and things like aliens. aliens that's one. The second it, that's, one. Yeah. That's one where she lo- like loses her daughter. Yeah, so yeah, she's yeah. dealing with that alien. So yeah, one hundred percent. So you I, definitely get this feel of like a struggling main character. I really appreciate her. Also, space horror Groundhog's Day is what I wrote down because this is the <laughs> one where she has to like die or whatever, or repeat the same thing and try to figure out what to is do. It? There were several games like this. Oh, actually. okay. I didn't there know there were that was two the case games this that this happened. Too. Yeah, there's another one, and the other one looks phenomenal. Uh, yeah, this but... one, middle-aged woman protagonist. You don't see that very often. No, man. you don't. You don't and, get that, and not like super attractive, sexualized. Even she was like, a person. Yeah. Yeah, just so I really appreciated that woman. Yeah, um, so yeah, looks cool. That's one I I, I think I want to play. Very very cool. It does look. Speaking good. of ones I don't want to play though. Uh, well, hang on, just uh, very unique monsters in oh. the Returnal oh, sure. game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, speaking of ones that I will absolutely play. Though, I guess we'll play it probably together. Maybe because it's got co-op. Or maybe on. I'll play it with my wife because we love these games. Um, no. Look, I like her way more than I like you. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Me too. Uh, Sackboy, Sack Boy, a big adventure. A big adventure. So this is, uh, looks just like an adventure platformer uh, in the lo- Little Big Planet world. Yeah. Why it's not Little Big Planet Four, I don't know. I'm wondering if the if they felt well. Little, I thought Little Big Planet Four. I already can't. Or is it just three that no, came three, out? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm wondering if they said, yeah, Little Big. Maybe the sales dropped too much, and they said maybe there's still a, a market for this. So if we spend less money on it, I'll say this. Also, Media Molecule is the ones doing dreams. dreams exactly, so they're, they're probably super busy. Probably with had that. a small team doing Sackboy, a big adventure, and here's something for you. So I'm guessing it will be a more straight adventure version, right? Than adventuring a adventure tons of plat- customization instead of like a big create your own like game that. kind yeah. of thing. Because Dreams already is that. Uh, my wife and I have played and beaten all three okay. Little Big Planet games. We platinumed the first one nice. and very nearly platinumed the second. But and you didn't. Well, we didn't and because casuals. we had our first kid, and then by our <sighs> by our third, by the third one, we had kids. There's no way we're how gonna many, platinum how that. How long but, are they gonna be an excuse for your poor gaming habits? You know, it's funny. I've actually asked myself that question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, four player co op. It's cool. Yeah. Still has that. It looks way fun. And there's it still like really items does. you're collecting, it looked like. So I don't, yeah, just really wondering to what level is we it? We should do that one with our wives. Get Faith, Jackie would play. Yeah, Get that Faith sounds to great. Play. Okay, we could, we can try and make that hey, happen. Hey, if you guys make a big deal out of <laughs> our wives being on it, we can definitely try and convince them. Right. So, no, this looks super fun. And I love the little Big Planet games. They're adorable as well as very accessible and easy. Uh, they're ones that you can play with kids, but or play with other hardcore gamers and still have a great time. So this looks great. It look looks really really good. Yeah. So, uh, un- Destruction All Stars was next. This is one that the uh, the gaming group that I'm a part of on Facebook was hyped about. It looks like uh like uh what's it called? What's the it's Rocket League without the soccer? I have it's a Destruction Derby game. I have Twisted Metal meets Fortnite. Okay. I wrote so neutral on this one. It hurts. <laughs> I do not. It's I'm not a multiplayer gamer. So cool. I, I, I'm not saying it looks bad. Not saying it looks good. It's just so this, not my jam. If you guys didn't see it and you're seeing it up here, but it is a to destruction derby in a huge arena. Right. And there are just like these massive obstacles flying all over the place. But there's very realistic, like smashing into each other right. and crashing and whatnot. But on top of this, very like, um, physical overdone oh, yeah, acting, over, yeah, uh, dramatic, all, uh, dramatic, and, and, bombastic, yeah, bombastic. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Character animation, uh, with all kinds of ridiculous costumes and things like that, and the personality of this was just explosive. I, th- I think game companies like this are clearly recognizing, hey, putting actual character personality in your multiplayer games is really useful. Yep. It started, I think, the big one that started this was um. Overwatch? Uh, Overwatch. Yeah. Because mechanically, Overwatch is perfect, but that would not, like, people love, you know, the care. They love Widowmaker. They love, yeah. you know, the fact that one of them says, High Noon becomes a, becomes a it's meme. High noon. It's High Noon or whatever he says. It's Matthew it makes, Mercer. Yeah, sure. It's great. Becomes a <laughs> meme because of that character, not because the mechanic. So I think that's what they said. I'm, I would not be surprised if Destruction All Stars was a thing. And then somebody in the higher up said, Oh, we got to put people in this. Too. Yeah. 
to actually give you a character to hold on to. So it looked ridiculous. It looked like one that I wish there would be a single player campaign in. Yeah. Because it looked like one that I would really have fun playing, but I'm with you, Fox, where the big multiplayer style of games like Rocket League or League or even Overwatch are ones that I'm just like, communities get toxic so fast and i'm just sure i'm not into that it's so. just it's just not how i not how i enjoy playing games yeah the next yeah. one i was very into i when i saw some like oh fox is gonna be about hey. this one yeah 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 so anyway nothing happened <laughs> uh uh kena kena i i went with kena did I you go kena. kena yeah kena bridge of spirits bridge of spirits you know if you want me to be on your side <laughs> just give me a 3d pl- action platformer Zelda style adventure game mm-hmm. with it seemed like it was kind of uh, towing into Japanese folklore a little bit yeah towing into right but it uh, was I appreciate it it looks like I like the aesthetic of it it was cartoony characters but a kind of a realistic environment yeah appreciated that I I'm just always down for another 3D action like there's such a collectathon nature to most of those games yeah. that I really get into them and it was. Uh, just stunning visually yeah, it as looked well. Great. It would, the the whole lush, verdant atmosphere of it, and as you're walking through, like some of the monsters are casting a darkness and a pall mm. around you, and you're overcoming that. And you know, kind of like I've talked about with art games, you know, like um, what was the one, the painting game that you played? Oh, Chicory, Chicory, things like that. I really like when you make the world come to life. This looks like it's going to lean into that a little bit, and just be gorgeous in the yeah, process yeah it looked fun so this is one that i would probably really enjoy watching you play yeah i'll definitely play that one yeah, yeah. uh next one this one was surprising to me this one i know was like des you'll be into this <laughs> yeah uh goodbye volcano high oh, i love the man. title first of all yes volcano high is just a cool thing so this I, is from co-op what is this game even it like, looks I th- i'm gonna game? go with a visual novel yeah I'm going, it looks, co-op was, uh, they had two of them, two games in the, um, uh, 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 what was that one we watched with like the non-violent fun indie games? Oh, the, um, the, the, the wholesome, co- wholesome, wholesome, direct. wholesome direct. They had two games in that. Yeah. This is the third one that they've shown over the last co- month now. Um, I'm guessing it's a, it's a visual novel it's about anthropomorphized dinosaurs and it's them leaving high school yeah graduating i assume and kind of moving on from that yeah it's and a it's a farewell kind of thing it, it had so many like elements of uh, like uh, life is strange or sure. you know, all kinds of really emotionally and resonant thing. yeah yeah which story you know game. me that's like my jam. yeah you're all about that you'll play it four times yes i will <laughs> i probably will actually. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah it was fine i was just surprised hey they're dedicating time in the PS5, PlayStation 5 announcement event to a co-op, like, small, probably visual novel game. Right. I mean, to be fair, we don't know anything we about We don't this. know. That's my guess. But also, hey, good on Sony. Yeah. Like, we, we're going to show we're gonna show you Miles Morales, but also this little dinosaur visual novel we're, game. We're excited for good content. Yeah. Not for AAA content. Right. No, it was... It was um, what are you doing over there? I'm trying to move this. So I can see better on my screen. <laughs> it looked really good. One yeah. that I'm really, really excited about to see more of at least. Sure. So this one, speaking of Robo Sensei. Yeah, speaking of speaking of documentary. Um the documentarian. Oddworld, Oddworld Soulstorm. I we haven't heard from Oddworld in a while, there man. Was a, been there a was a like a preview of a game, I think, a couple of years ago. Maybe. I don't know. I might even think of something else. I have no idea what Oddworld is. Oh, now really? I guess I do. Okay, so let me give you the just the the real gist of it and how the guy like because they had a, a presenter coming beforehand talking about sure. it. How he said that your it, successes will be like saving people and your failures will be hilarious and yeah, hilariously and this is exactly something. what the game is. So you are like the mm. the one slave that is trying to help free all the other slaves. Okay, and you will go in and say, "Hey, follow me," and they'll start following you wherever you go oh, like a lemming and they're type thing. yeah and their mechanics they stop okay come here okay. and things like that and of course there's all kinds of obstacles yeah. it's very puzzle uh, as well as uh platforming and so way fun and <laughs> it's one of those things that when you fail and you get like 13 things all hit by things. a train yeah, all yeah, at yeah. once 
it's like oh <laughs> and then also it's really man really it just funny, looked like so. the biggest budget 2d side scroller i've ever seen like the graphics were insane it for this kind good, of game man. it just looks so like <laughs> And it looked dramatic and like serious. And at this the same is something time. that throughout the whole thing, I was really impressed with Sony. We talked about this already just beforehand with um, with Goodbye Volcano High, because it seems like Sony is willing to commit a certain amount of funds to content that they know is going to be good. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be hugely money making. Whatever else, content that they are proud to represent, they are willing to put funds toward hey, that hey, and screen yeah. time toward that. And Oddworld is a cult classic. It's been, you know, beloved for years, if not decades. And here they are showing a PS5 right. Oddworld coming out. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it looked real good. It really did. Uh, here's the next one. I'm, uh, the mm. Ghostwire Tokyo. This looked real good. I'm, yes, I was surprised by how action-y it felt. Yes. Based on, we saw a, just a trailer at maybe E3 last year, I think. Or maybe the Game Awards. Did we really? Yeah, for Ghostwire. Oh, oh no. Okay. Do you remember like the presenter girl who's just like, eh, like the, the. Oh. Like, you don't remember at all what I'm talking about. No, the internet will. <laughs> um, she like was all fun and cutesy, but was introducing this like weird, spooky game. <laughs> it's very funny. Um, and then they brought her back, I think, for the game awards, if I remember correctly. Anyway, that trailer made it look like a serious, spooky movie. Right. Or game. And this one, I was just like, this doesn't look like it'll be spooky at all. Well, this it, one looked like it's super actiony. And... So to me, I, I wrote Bioshock meets Fear. The I don't know yeah. if you remember yeah, the, I remember the psych- fear. yeah the, the psychological supernatural horror. yeah uh, but action Still, like, shooter action shooter yeah yeah this was really like you clearly had superpowers and you were out there very yeah Bioshock you're like doing style. like Naruto seals I, I, I literally wrote, Bioshock meets fear but you're a ninja <laughs> but you, yeah you're, you're doing jutsus out there and <laughs> you, you, throwing fireballs and it's so cool but <laughs> they have some genuinely creepy things like headless schoolgirl outfits coming after you like they definitely just, there was seemed like there was a theme on faces and like the head yeah like there was like they even mentioned it in the face your fears or something like that like that's going to be a theme or something I, I can very much foresee it having like these slow creepy tense moments that explode into and action. that explode into action I mean, after yeah, a while it's an interesting a couple thing. of jump scares uh times of anticipation and just building tension and then it will just burst into action and right. you can't have those big action moments. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. It looked interesting for sure. It's the, a new IP and that's always something to look at. The troublesome for. balance with that, because Bioshock had this <clears throat> and uh, struggled. I'm not going to say struggled with it. I think they did just fine. But was it's super scary when you walk into a new area and you see shadows and blood yep. on the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Bioshock was fantastic at this. But by the end of the game, you're a demigod. You're, yeah, you're, you're demigod, like, and you get, you, you get used to it after a while because yeah. it was kind of a pattern. So, so we'll see. We'll see how Ghostwire Tokyo deals with this. But to me, it was really intriguing, and the game that I, one of the the many in here that I am definitely interested in seeing more about. Yeah, next one, uh, Jet the Far Shore, from Super Brothers. Uh, I know Super Brothers because they made Sword and Swor- Sorcery. Right. EP, which I got in the very one of the first Humble Bundle I ever bought in 2000. I remember this specifically. It was like 2011. It's a long time ago. Anyway, so this one looked interesting to me. I like the aesthetic of it. It looks um, like a sci fi exploration. I don't know exactly what the plot is, but we'll see. Like, Finding a new home or something. Yeah, it, I, I have a space exploration question yeah, mark. That's but all. Not that's much. literally what I put. Yeah, was intriguing sci-fi exploration. So the whole theme just says like, "Hey, and uh, finding a new home for people who right. need it the most," or something this like is, that. Yeah, it's uh, the sequel to um, uh, Inter- Inter- uh, Interstellar. Oh, yeah, because at the end they fly out into space, and now I thought you were going to say intergalactic planetary. Yes, the sequel to the Beastie Boys album. Yeah, hopefully that too. That'd be great. <laughs> if it was Beastie Boys music in there, I'd love it. But yeah, this this didn't show a lot. Um, you can see what's going on right here, but yeah, it's, it's, there's not yeah, much to it. It looked like a indie indie title, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Next one, f- now for something completely different. Godfall. Godfall. Godfall's been one of the ones that it's from a cool title. The very first PS5 talks. Yep. This has been part of it. Yeah, the very first like game announced maybe for it. And it doesn't look any less awesome to me. It looks like a dramatic Souls like game. I would be shocked if it's not a Soulsborne. Like, yeah, it looks very much. It looks like, it's like be the, that. Uh, just specifically from the combat style, like it looks slow. That or like, Monster Hunter. Yeah, something like combat. that. With yeah. these big dramatic like armor and weapons and 
like you're only fighting one or two enemies at a time, which sometimes is yeah an indicator. So anyway, yeah. But you looked like every single character you could be looked like a, a paladin hero. Right, that right. Just they gonna... they were definitely going for epic. Yes, in, it in its aesthetic very and its epic, like a size of what's going on. So this is one that counterplay games, by the way is uh it's been very hyped for a while yeah. now and has yeah. a lot to live up to i can tell you that we've known about it for a long time so yeah yeah looks good but uh I, i'm more thinking to myself like man this one's got a lot to live up to we'll see how that goes you know what's something to think about there's probably an arc or like a, a timeline of the length it takes for a game to come out and the excitement for that game i bet you if yeah. a game takes three years people are excited that's a fairly and it comes out people are really excited for it it takes one year it's less time to get excited i don't know if it takes 10 years they get to a year eight you're just like okay i care less now maybe i don't know uh scientists tell us about that (laughs) well it's the duke nukem yeah exactly (laughs) it really just depends because kingdom hearts 3 was like that too Um, oh that's also true solar ash to me okay did you buy heart heart machine did you watch bound when i played bound or have you seen bound yes yes to me, it looked a lot like Bound. Sure, yeah. I had a playthrough of that, but highly stylized platformer. Gorgeous. Yeah, it looked, uh, that's literally all I wrote down. It was beautiful looking. Yeah. Uh, I'm, again, another one that seems like it's going to be an indie game. Yeah. We were oh, assuming yeah. with a lot of these. Seems like it's going to be a small indie title, but another one that it's really cool of Sony to be highlighting these. All right. Next one was much bigger, uh, Hitman 3. Hitman 3. Okay, I'm going to stop us right here because okay. this is something that I thought was worth mentioning. The first white male protagonist in the entire it was, thing. That was something that stuck out this whole time. Very diverse cast of main characters. Absolutely. And uh, and the first one is one that's been around for a long time. It yeah. wasn't a new game with some some new you know white man. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, obviously not in inha- like it's a good thing to see yeah. that kind of stuff. Another one that I wouldn't be surprised if, with everything going on the past couple of weeks, Sony has said, "Hey, stop." Let's change things around a little bit and let's sure. try and get a better representation right. in, in our presentation. Uh, we want to make a point of this, which is cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah, because here's the thing. you can. I'm sure there are people out there claiming, oh, Sony's woke now, which first of all, shut up. Yeah. Second of all, you understand that all Good. of these games have been being made for two or three years now, right? Like they're not just like throwing Miles Morales in there at the dr- last <laughs> second because Let's create a oh, character. We need a we need a black man. <laughs> People are care about this in the last week. Let's make this whole game right. No. This is like you can't just whip that up so so quick. So, yeah, think about that. Yes. <laughs> like, they this was not just this was planned. Yeah. Yeah. So it was really, really Hit, interesting. Hitman 3, IO Interactive. Uh, I'm wondering if... I, I haven't played any literally any Hitman game. I'm wondering if this one will be episodic like the last one was. Maybe even the last two. Because I know for the for, for sure Hitman 2 was like several, like six or something large episodes that were released individually. And they were each like a mission in and of itself with its own contained world. And I'm wondering if they'll do that this way, do that again. Um, that that was my question, but it looked like a Hitman game. Yeah, to me, this was one of the more bland, a little things. bland, a little like reliable. Is yeah, what I'll say. yeah, reliable. That's that's a better way to put it. Bland may not be a fair fair word, right? Because because uh, the world, the, like the environment, like going like Dubai and being on the Burj yeah. Khalifa was super cool. It looked real cool, very yeah. uh, Mission Impossible. Very much so. It looked like he's Spy Man now instead yeah, of just yeah. hit, hit, Hitman. So, but the Hitman series is one that is been around for a long long time right. and yeah so reliable safe but as far and as people like, love it and maybe it's just that i never did i never disliked it i never I've played, never any played of them, them yeah so. it's just never really exciting to yeah. me so yeah. yeah uh after that i have here, here really we're keeping the irobot things this is the first, astro's playroom this is the first boring thing astro's playroom yeah this one i looked it up it's going to be pre and in, pre include it's on every ps5 yeah, it, well the the playroom now is there? on no it's oh. on the ps4 oh okay there's the ps4 playroom this game and, uh, astro's whatever astro's playroom will be on every play so you won't you won't have to pay for it if you want to play it yeah. aside from buying the so console. the playstation i if you guys had it uh came i guess not the playstation had it the playstation i when you plugged it in immediately installed or it became available because you plugged the playstation i whatever yeah. this little playroom game with these little robots and it's um, a hardware demonstration game yeah and they're fun 
they're fine i guess i played them with my kids until my kids got bored of them even yep i mean to be clear my kids have beat luigi's mansion 3 like nine times that's not a joke <laughs> they, they don't get bored of games they've quick been talking to me about it for months now <laughs> but um they, they got bored of this game pretty quick yeah and it's I, I don't, it was really weird that sony would want to highlight this. i think they just wanted yeah that it would that's weird that they would put it in here but i think they just want to say or it's probably just going to be hey here's what the controller can do yeah and it's a kind of a game that you can play. Whatever. Whatever. We can move on. Little, Little Devil, Devil Inside. Inside. This is from uh, Neo Stream. I was very intrigued with this game. The aesthetics and the Foley work was super cute. Mm. Like, they're like every little pop of your gun was like... And is like, this the one I'm, I'm, know, I'm honestly having a hard time remembering? Is this the one where there's like there's an old man old in the tub, but then it also pans over and there's yeah, a young dude and like the things kind of riding a horse to and each shooting. other? Yeah. And at one point, it shows the old man on a toilet. Yeah. And it shows and it connects that to something dropping. And yeah. It's like, oh, that's the humor. <laughs> okay, cool. So it was weird to me because it had this very playful aesthetic, and again, the Foley work was one that really stuck out to me. The sound effects as just like kind of cute and fun but also at the same time he stabbed demons and like blood right right out of yeah there like, was like a weird it got intense sometimes a yeah um, and so I was uh this one i looked it up it is it was a kickstarted game okay so man to go from hey let's try to make this game on kickstarter to dem like put it you in the ps5 launch tr like yeah that's a, that's a big deal for that good for job that, you for, guys for a neo stream so yeah, yeah. that's awesome uh, and also, yes, it just seemed like throughout this whole thing, hey, let's try to demonstrate we've got a wide variety, which what, what I, here's is typical what I want of these kind of Because, things. again, this is this is kind of my, my style of game. I love this. Sure. Here's what I want this game to be. I want this game to be this old man trying to tell people around him, this is what I did when I was this, a young this man. Was telling this, this is my a, life. a big fish style yeah. game? And you have to walk around as this old man and, like, Go to the grocery store. You're just remembering Take these. a bath. Yeah. Things like that. And you have these really mundane things and these conversations where people are like, whatever you say, okay, old man. Okay, old man withers. Yeah. But then you also play through them because here's why I want that. Because when you have a victory as a player, you're going to say, holy crap, I did it. And then you're going to go into this old man world and everybody in the game is going to say, sure you did no i promise and you're gonna say no i really did it's on my save file yeah. Dang it. like, it's there <laughs> and so you're gonna identify with that yeah i, I like that'd that be really interesting i like that concept yeah so yeah. i'm just curious the title is little devil inside so what the crap is that i don't know man that's interesting yeah yeah uh nba 2k21 sport guy talks sport game so exclamation much point. sweat <laughs> so much next gen sweat <laughs> So important, so Buckets. important, guys. Buckets. We got to see how realistic that sweat is on our on our basketballers, on our sportsmen. Because <laughs> I don't even play it. If Those he... were some sweaty balls. I... <laughs> I ain't even getting out of bed for any game unless all my characters are sweating to the to 8K resolution. That's right. I need a gallon Each of sweat. Bead of I sweat. I want to feel damp after playing sweat. it. What? That's a that's just it's a sports it's a basketball game cool yeah I the two K series is a big deal it oh is. yeah I'm not saying people don't like it I just again yeah. it's not my jam but it and but there was sweat. to me this was one of the ones where <clears throat> there was no gameplay well I can kind of imagine what will be in it it's gonna be last year but this year yeah, but so why the hype why hype I don't I don't get sports games I'm sorry. <laughs> If you were excited for this, I'm really happy for you. I genuinely am. I hope you play the crap sure, out of yeah, it and have a great whatever. time. Or don't. Uh, to me, I'm like, I don't get it, man. I yeah. don't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, the next one. Next one might be my uh, my uh, game of show. We are different people, my friend. Really? Uh, bug Snacks. It. Oh, no. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Oh, I skipped. I scrolled up a little bit too far. Oh, never yeah. mind. Sorry. Oh, okay. Then. No, 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 no. Bug Snacks. Bug Snacks. This was. Okay. <laughs> It's so weird. It looks no. like a double fine game. It was hilarious, but not though. double fine. It's made by Young Horses, and I hope that's literal. Let, let me <laughs> got a bunch of foals in there coding away. To, they got their giant buttons so their hooves can press them individually. It would behoove them to make a better game. No, I, I think this looks super fun. Actually, um, here here's essentially what they communicated to you. You make a character, and they take you to an island in which 
all the creatures are, are food, food related a la cloudy with a chance meatballs too that those yeah um, that one and uh when you eat one of them your body becomes pa- part of you thing. starts turns into that snack yeah cool i don't know how that will translate into a game yeah i don't really get it but it sure looked goofy. It was unique. <laughs> I'll give it that one. It was, yeah, absolutely that. Now, here's the, the one that... The song was super cute. Sure. It really, really was. Oh, yeah, that was that was true. They had a lot of bug... It said bug snacks a lot. Yes. Uh, Not this one, but the one after this one is my oh, game of show. Okay. But this one is a big deal. Demon Souls. Demon Souls remake. The remake of Demon Souls. They showed, like, two things, and I'm like, I know this. I And didn't. then they showed, uh, I think it was the um, the Tower Knight. And I'm like, this is a Demon Souls wow, remake, okay. baby. I, Dang. I, I never played Demon Souls. so I've watched three playthroughs. Oh, okay. Of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. I mean, it looked really cool. Holy crap. It, it looked, looked very good. beautiful to me. That dragon at the end was really cool looking. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I might play it and not record it. Because that's the only way I'll enjoy playing it <laughs> if I don't feel the demand of people needing to see the next episode. There are so many iconic moments and iconic things, just like any Souls game uh, that Demon Souls provides. And to see them like flying through the air and like the dragon bursting up. It had, and like, things like it had that. stingray like creatures. Yeah. Those are cool looking. That boss is so weird. I'm man. really curious because the original was a PS3 exclusive. Right. Will this be a, an exclusive like Bloodborne? I would not be surprised. I, I Man, that's that's a system seller for some people right, right there. Absolutely, yes. Yes, yes, uh, yes. But yeah, looked cool. Looked a little more stylized than Dark Souls. A little more man. light. Not lighthearted, but a little more like colorful even. My only question is, is it going to be a like step for step? remake or are they going to add some content or change i'm wondering if they might say here's what we kind of perfected the this the thing with dark souls and with bloodborne let's kind of add a few more of those elements like bring it more into the line because i know dark souls was a little different in how it worked yeah kind of mechanically a little different not entirely but um, i wouldn't be surprised and probably would be a better idea to kind of like evolve a little bit Right, yeah. Evolution is a good word for it. Not yeah. change, no. evolve yeah. a little bit. We're bringing yeah. it up in dark. Yeah, maybe they'll release the original like on there, so you can still play that if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one, this, this one is game of show to me. For I think. you, yes. De- Death Loop. Death Loop. Arcane Studios. Man, okay. This makers of Prey. This looks like a '70s action movie mm-hmm. that has been directly translated into. I wrote Bioshock again, the Bioshock world. Oh, I mean, as far as gameplay goes, it looks very much like. Uh, it looks like Dishonored. Oh, actually, I never played Dishonored. Okay, so. yeah, I mean, it's the Arcane formula. Like yeah. Arcane made Dishonored. So, yeah, but also Dishonored. Well, this is Bethesda, right? Wasn't this one Bethesda? Bethesda is the uh, the um, uh, uh, Pro- production pr- pr- producer. Sure. Yes, the developers are keen. Right. So, anyway. But either way, <laughs> it looks so fun. Yeah, it looked really cool. I like the concept. It looked like fast-paced, flowing combat. Yeah. And then the whole idea is every time you die, you return to the beginning of a time loop. And so what I foresee is you beginning to memorize these areas mm-hmm. and being able to just flow through them right. like water yeah feeling like a king just like yeah just doing all these cool you're just yeah. like but without even thinking about it shoot here shoot here shoot here hit this do this like and that sounds fun it and also it kind of teased cool. multiplayer a little bit toward yeah. the end where it kind of went down into another one of the assassins and so i'm really curious as to what that's gonna like so the whole idea is that you're on an island that's some supposed to be some sort of like paradise except for it's a paradise for assassins and what they do for fun is kill you over and over yep, and over yep. and over and over again. And it's your job to try and take out like the top eight people. Yeah, you're trying to get to escape essentially. Yeah, so that you can escape. And it looks really stylistic, really smooth, clean cut gameplay. Right. And like a crap ton of fun. Yeah, it, what I wrote down was it looks like Dishonored, but actually having fun. <laughs> Dishonored what it wasn't 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 ultra serious. It had jokes and it had whatever, but it was still a very dour game. Yeah. Um yeah. let's move on though to maybe the most exciting trailer for me. Yeah. Maybe not the game I'm looking forward to most, but the most exciting trailer was Village. Resident- yeah. Oh wait, Resident it's Resident Evil 8, 8 Village. Village. 
That blew my freaking mind. I called it, actually. Did you? Because there's one, like, half a second clip of these four runes, and in the middle of the runes is the Umbrella logo. Oh. And I'm like... I didn't see was it. Was that actually... Because I've seen that similar style sure, of logo little, other places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I actually, little like, octagon went thing. back and paused it, and I'm <laughs> like, no, that is the Umbrella logo. <laughs> and I played it, and they, there was, like, this juxtaposition of gothic classic it gothic is a horror gothic horror game right they had werewolves and there's like witches monsters yeah at things one like point that, that and, looked like witches at least and but it also looked like a and you know a, a cliched eastern, eastern european, european village. village and then there's like this castle in the background yes. you're just like what and so i but then also there was some future stuff with the ethan the main character of resident evil 7 yeah and at Chris the Redfield end they kind of reveal up. yeah what i want what i would love if if this is the beginning of Umbrella. How Umbrella was made. If this is part prequel origins and part The otherwise. fact that Ethan's in it, though, I don't know, man. Half and halves. We'll almost, see. Almost like a classic Assassin's Creed. Where I guess they're showing have the, like the history the of it current and the timeline modern time and the historical. Yeah. Okay. But if we're getting like some, some ways of how uh, Umbrella became obsessed with these types of things like these oh, mutations and sure. whatnot like, and beca- baron von wesker or whatever uh, actually that would be down for that hardcore yeah, for sure and baron von wesker finds out about werewolves and witches and whatnot yeah and, he and wants like to, starts doing breeding experiments yeah and creates this virus by accident or something like that yeah here's here's the thing that stuck out to me very first time i saw it or very when i was watching it uh chris redfield says like three words he says like i'm sorry ethan I'm pretty sure that's Keanu Reeves. No. You need to go and listen to it again. It sounds so much like Keanu Reeves. He has a voice. He's had a voice actor for years. Maybe it's... Maybe... Hey, look. Remember the hype that surrounded Cyberpunk when they revealed Keanu Reeves? Maybe Capcom was like, oh, we can do that. Are you going to listen to it right now? No, I'm looking it up online. Maybe it's just being held secret. Maybe it's like not actually being talked about. Uh, Resident Evil Village. Dang it, there are no credits yet. Yeah, like one hundred percent. It sounded like Keanu. Listen to it again, or watch it again, and listen for Keanu. All right. It, I'm. I. I would not be shocked. I also wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. But also, it sounded like him. Let's move on, though. Looked- I'm excited for that. I love the. I love the different. Even compared to Seven, how different the environment looks. Yes, that was oh, a cool man, thing. Man, it looks good. It wasn't just another backwoods house or something. Right, you know? right, right. It was. This it was, was cool. a village. Yeah. yeah. So Very I like cool. that. Uh, next one, Pragmata. Pragmata. I wrote. You say it. What the actual f? I have no clue. This is a Hideo game without Hideo. <laughs> I was so surprised that there was no Hideo Kojima after it came after the trailer. And it's like I'm excited to show you this game, and underneath that astronaut helmet is once again uh norman reedus. norman reedus <laughs> that that baby was the fetus from this is my sequel you're gonna be making deliveries on the moon now it's weird guys yeah i don't know anything nothing was explained the it problem was, was it was just Kojima. a trailer so i don't care i really just right. don't care but it also just was so much it, w- it felt like a hideo kojima fever dream yeah like, it- <laughs> <laughs> this it's just weird kind of for the sake of weird right now because nothing is explained so it, you know, it was weird with nothing explained which communicates nothing to you right hey i was going to speak for all gamers here's what i'll say <laughs> hey devs and and game companies and whatnot i as a player and many if not all of the gamers that i know don't care when you show stuff like we that. want gameplay the only time for me when it when it's only a trailer is when it's a sequel to a in a series. Right. So if you just showed a trailer like the next game we're going to talk about that didn't have any gameplay in it. No. I'm okay with it. Yes. Because I know what that series is. Yes. Now you might be adding stuff and I hope you do. But the next game we're talking about is Horizon 2 yeah. Forbidden West. Probably the game that was, you know, the game of the show, game for, of show me. for you. I love I love Horizon and uh yeah, I'm really glad that this is a thing. I have Mecha Mama Kill here cuz <laughs> that was awesome. That and the alligators are super cool. Yes. Uh, clearly I mean, there were alligators in the first one. Over but... there? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Um, there are underwater environments now. That's yes. cool. It was gorgeous. Seeing very gorgeous. The, very the colorful. Life returned to Earth yeah. and having like 
not just plants, but also animals running all over yep. the place. But also dying. Well, we got to save them. Yeah. There's like weird giant storms. I actually, I like kind of the way they went about this. They say, hey, yeah, life came back to Earth, but for whatever reason, now there's something else that is killing it again. And right. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the thing that killed it before. Oh, no, it is. It I is. mean, it's they, the... they linked that with the first. Sure. I am I but... I need to play the first one again. I'll probably record it and put it on our channel. But I love the game. I platinumed it. I don't remember a lot of details about the story, especially at the end. I know she's I know, like I know a clone you don't or do something. This a lot. But... I know you don't do this a lot, but I can tell you that I 100% remember the storyline of games way better when I watch YouTube playthroughs of them mm. instead of playing That's harder them for me to do. Because right. I have more time to actually play a game and, like, record it and, like, the, you know. So, anyway. But. It's uh, true. Maybe I'll just watch it. But also, I want to record it for our channel. Yes. Uh, it, it's, it's an excuse to play it again. It, it's an incredible game. And I'm looking forward to it. And this also looks incredible. Um, it was an exclusive. And so, we're assuming this will also be an exclusive. 100%. My goodness, they were levering their exclusives to huge, huge success. Yeah, That's what you got to do. That's yeah. what you got to do. But Microsoft didn't do that. I Exactly. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Let's just talk. They, then they revealed the system. And that's it. Well, nothing to really say there. No, it uh, looks... No. It, it, it was a... Look, the system here... We got to establish here. <laughs> it does not matter what your game system looks like. What it lo physically looks like is completely pointless unless it says... Uh, Nazis are cool on the outside. <laughs> I don't care. So, I don't care if it's good or bad looking. It looks sleek. I like it. Yeah, it looks fine. To me, it looks like, uh, you know how they have utopian movies and everything's white sure, and like yeah. rounded and whatnot? Right. If they have hey, Alexa quote unquote, hey, wait, hold utopia. on. Think about this. <laughs> you ever think about how the utopian movies, everything's white? Hmm? Hmm. Let's move on. Uh, no, it looked. It, it definitely looked like a, a kind of a future machine it, uh, that you'd yeah. see in a poorly made. But then at some point, I was talking to a bunch of friends about it, and one of them said, "It looks like it has a popped collar," <laughs> and now I can't unsee it. Yeah, one hundred percent. The PS Five is there, like. It said it was like it only showed it vertically, I think, in the trailer. But I think there has been a picture of it being horizontal. Yeah, and I was wondering if that's yeah. Yeah, so. it can be on its side. Right. Yes. Um. It cannot be upside down. <laughs> Good. Uh, there's a digital edition, apparently. That was really interesting. That was a big me, thing for me. That they're straight up saying, hey, we are going to have one without a disk drive right. at all. To me, immediately, that was interesting because I know that Blu ray is not a big thing anymore, but still the ability to watch disc movies. Right, right, right. You can still watch a Blu ray movie without a disc, though. Like, you can still download a Blu ray quality movie. But I'm saying what I already own. You do own them. That's true. That's yeah, fair point. Well, what people already own. So I, I understand that there are probably plenty of, you know, uh, 20 year olds. I was trying to think what generation that was, but uh, 20 year olds out there that don't have a plethora of DVDs and Blu ray like I do because yeah. you, they didn't grow up in that era. Yeah. It's not, and so to they them, are moving, they are evolving with the times, I think. Yeah. To them, I really like this idea. Uh, it's almost like that uh, computer that is specifically made to play video games. We're getting closer to that. Sure, yeah. I'm. Ho I, it, I, here's two things I want. The digital edition should be cheaper or same price with slightly larger space. That's the one that I figured it would like be. Like a, a larger a hard drive. Yeah, same price, um, larger hard drive. Because it, I, if it's the same and just the same price and just isn't, then there's no point to it. Now here's one I thing like physical copies of my games still, that is so going to be lend them out dire for Sony is that if they're going to release this digital edition, the Xbox, uh, the Xbox series, series X. X, thank you. The Xbox series X has the ability to plug in any external hard drive you want mm -hmm. and it's compatible with it and a USB external hard drive. Sony must have that with that digital edition. You, you gotta. If you're gonna have exclusively firsthand Sony peripherals, that's gonna screw you over. It's a bad idea. It's gonna be terrible. So I would also love with a digital edition the ability to lend a game for like 30 days to somebody, or hey, mm. play this game for a week or something. I'm not saying they can keep it forever, but like the and, Zune had that right. The Zune MP3 hey, player made by Sony. So wasn't it? Made no. by Microsoft. Was it Microsoft? You dingus. I'm so I even had a Zune for a while. <laughs> so did they I. did. No, but I uh you had a Zune for a you still have a Zune that works. I do. I have it's, two of you them. You're the last one in the world with a I working have a Zune. Zune. And a Zune HD. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping that they that'd be a cool thing to do, like lend you this game for a week and you can play it or something like because physical copies I can give to you to play. Yeah, I can you know whatever. So I always like that, but also I understand that they make more money if they don't do that. So mm -hmm. in theory, um, the other thing it showed headphones, a camera, and a remote control. I'm wondering if all of that's bundled with it. Okay, or if it's to just be very accessories. Clear, remote control like this. Yeah. A media remote. PS3 had that, and it was wonderful, and I loved it. The PS4 specifically did not and never came out with that, and it was maddening. Mm. And it was such a simple peripheral. They probably, I know yeah. that's such a, a, a simple whatever thing for your gaming console to have a media remote, but it was, for me, kind of a big deal when they showed that media yeah. remote. Yeah, so I'm wondering if that's bundled with every system or if it's just like, here, here's more accessories. Um, but also like if they bundled a camera and your headphones and whatever with it, maybe they're trying to like read the landscape and say, Hey, we're going to like, I'm, I'm thinking wildly here, but okay. We're now having a Sony streaming platform mm. where you can partner PlayStation with us. View is, a thing. And, is it? Okay. I don't see. I don't know much about this. Yeah. So like they're reading the, the reading the room and saying, this is a huge part of the gaming industry now. Let's equip our players to have you know headphones and a camera. Man, if they had good content and they said, "Hey, PS Plus standard or PS Plus Gold, PS Plus Gold is twenty more dollars sure. a year, and you get a streaming service," I'd do that. Like I'm just yeah, I'm wondering. I, I, would. <laughs> I mean, like a like like Twitch kind of thing. Oh, I mean, okay. I'm meaning like so that Sony's sort of version service. of Twitch, where you can they they support Sony streamers. Interesting. I'm wondering, like I I. That that's something that the it's not going to go away, right? So I think it would behoove Sony to say like we'll support, you know, maybe there's a monetary like agreement or something like a partnership. I don't know. That to me like you can buy headphones, whatever. Like what? It, there should be some like advantage to having their equipment. Right. So you right. use our equipment in your streaming. We'll you know it's going to work a lot better for you. It has so, all I, these success. Or, or we'll just yeah. We, we won't support you if you don't. Oh, okay. Thing. Which I understand there's pros and cons of that. But I was just wondering, like, spitballing of yeah. what is the point of that? So that was, that the, was the Sony. The... Okay, real quick here, because this is an hour long now. Yeah. Um, hey, we talked about Destiny a lot. Okay? <laughs> we did. We had to give it its, <laughs> its full, its, its due. Uh, anything that you wanted to see but didn't? Um, you mentioned already, but a God of War 2 would have I was, been really, really I was great. hopeful, but also that's going to be a huge game that takes a long time to make. Right. And I'm more right. than willing to give them all the time in the world. Uh, but honestly, the 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 long, because that one's an obvious one. Yeah. The long shot to me that I really wanted to see but didn't happen was another Uncharted game. I know okay. that the most recent Uncharted game did not do great. The one that was starting. The little side, the side project. Yeah. Uh, um, Uncharted Lost, Lost Legacy. Lost Legacy, yes. Yeah. Uh, it did not do great because Uncharted and Nathan Drake are kind of like companion with each other. And I understand that Uncharted 4 was very much supposed to be putting Nathan Drake to bed. But it'd be really cool. We've said this before. Uncharted 5, you play as, play as his daughter. Cassie is her name, yeah, maybe? So I don't remember. I don't remember. But... You play as her here's my Here's my ultimate fan theory. The next, the next it's, it's uh, uh, Uncharted Tombs. You play as you switch between Undead Nathan Drake. No. <laughs> you switch between okay. Tomb Raider. The story is, yes, you're playing as Cassie and as uh, Lara, Lara Croft. Croft. She and you are Lara Croft's student. Lara Croft has become a professor and you're on an expedition together. So um pay me. Pay me money now. It's gonna happen. I would pay them money. You know how many that. things I predicted? I would pay you so much. This is money. gonna be another you have, one. Actually, you've been pretty good about this. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, let us know what you thought about the PS5 PS5 showcase. Let us know what you thought was the game of show and what you think about the design and the systems themselves. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys next time when we got some more stuff. When I don't know what's what's coming out. We got a. There's. We have a lot. So three whole things happening tomorrow, including the Gorilla Interactive and a Ooh. couple of things. Next I want to interact with gorillas. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun game. VR only. Jane Goodall is um, going to be <laughs> she's, there. Yeah, she's, uh, yeah. No, uh, next week is the Steam Game Festival. Oh, yeah. Which I don't think we'll actually have an episode like this. It'll be an episode of our podcast. Because usually when this kind of thing happens, we play we a bunch play of the, the demos games and, and talk, talk about, about them. them. So I think we'll do that. Yep. But we'll cover it. There's a lot happening over the next two weeks. It's like the like the meat of Summer Game Fest over the next two weeks. So yep. lots of stuff coming out. So keep, keep uh, stay tuned. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.